This video shows how to install and use Medjama from Google for medical text and image understanding tasks locally and free. What happens when a powerful open weight model is fine tuned specifically for healthcare applications? I am Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Medjama is a family of models based on Jama 3 designed specifically for medical domain applications. It comes in two variants a 4 billion parameter multimodal version capable of processing both text and medical images and a 27 billion text only version optimized for medical language understanding. These models are intended to help developers build AI driven healthcare solutions by offering strong performance on clinically relevant tasks. The instruction tuned versions are well suited for immediate use while the pre-variant allow deeper customization. Google has also shared a pre-built application on the model card which you can check out. Let me quickly show you that application based on this model. So this is a patient education demo app, um, app which has been built on top of this model. So you can see that there is a chest x-ray and then on the basis of that there are some uh, findings which and you can of course uh, you know check it out and i'm also going to install it locally and we will test it out on various medical related images and see how exactly this performs but you can see that you can build a lot of applications on top of it the good thing is that you can even fine tune this model on your own medical data and then go from there i'll be making another video on that fine tuning later I will be talking more about this model as we go so but let's first try to get it installed i am going to use this ubuntu machine and i have one gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gpu of vram and i'm going to install the 4 billion uh, variant of this model i am creating my conda environment and if you're looking to rent a gpu on very affordable price you can find the link to masked compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50 percent for a range of gpus and now let's install all the prerequisites it is going to take three to four minutes while that happens let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are matrix matrix lets you create a realistic world simulator where you can run repeated simulations as AP tests for your marketing captions, allowing marketers to test different angles and strategies. And I will also drop the link in video's description. Everything is installed. Next up, we need to log into the Hugging Face because it's a gated model. So you would have to also grab your free read token, which you can easily get from your Hugging Face profile. And then you can see that i am now logged in okay so once you are logged in let me launch my jupyter notebook and then we are going to download and play with this model and now let's download the model and i'm just going to use transformers pipeline and the model is being downloaded while it downloads let's talk a bit more about this model so as I was saying that these models are intended to help developers build AI driven healthcare solutions on various clinically relevant tasks. The MedGemma 4 billion variant which we are installing integrates a SIGLIP based image encoder which is pre-trained on de-identified medical imaging data. It includes x-rays, dermatology, ophthalmology and histopathology images. Its LLM component is trained on diverse medical data set that enables it to understand and generate responses based on both visual and textual inputs. In contrast, MedGemma 27 billion focuses solely on text comprehension and generation with optimization for efficient inference. Both variants have been evaluated on clinical benchmarks and support further fine tuning for specialized applications under the Health AI Developer Foundation's terms of use, which you can check out on their model card. And I will drop the link in video's description. The so model is almost downloaded. Yes, yeah, so the model is now downloaded. Let's do the inference. So I'm just going to give it some images from my local system. These are medical related. For instance, I'm going to give it this X-ray image, which I will show you shortly. And then I'm asking you to describe it. 
we are applying the chat template and then we are encoding it through tokenizer within this pipeline of transformer model is generating the output and then we are decoding it back and displaying it so let's run this this is also going to display the image which we are testing for x-ray and it has given us the response so this is the x-ray i'm using so and these are all ai generated images by the way and this is a met gemma's response now don't ask me what exactly this means i have no clue and please i beg you don't just now start uh, throwing your x-rays and your pimples and all those images into the model and start asking it about um, if you have anything so these models really i mean they could ha hallucinate and i think i believe you must go to a physician or anything if you have any medical conditions or if you just want to know about more about your medical conditions if they are uh, genuine or not so in simple words this is not a replacement of a doctor anyway but if you just quickly go through the response of this med gemma looks really good i mean it is talking about overall appearance bones lungs and all that stuff about all the structures of the x-ray and the image quality is also good as per this model so not only it talks about the medical stuff here whatever is happening in this x-ray but also about if the if it is good or not okay let's try out one more okay in the next example i am giving it the image of a skin lesion and then i have also changed the system prompt to dermatologist and i am asking it to analyze the dermoscopic image of the skin lesion so let me run this and it will show you the image and we will also check the vram consumption let's check the vram consumption so it is consuming over 9 gig of VRAM, which is quite decent, I would say, for this size of uh, model. And I believe it also has come back with the response. Let's check it out. So this is X-ray. Okay, so I think I didn't change the prompt, so that is fine. I'll change it. Uh, but you see, this is a lesion, and I have no idea what that means. And then it is talking about thermoscopic image shows a skin lesion with all that stuff. And I have no idea what that means, so don't ask me, please. But look, I think pretty good effort from Google. And this is where all of these targeted fine-tuned models in various domains will be, you know, a thing of norm. You know, they will be taken as a given very, very soon. So the good thing is that Google has also shared a fine-tuning recipe, which I will also ma be making another video. And that is actually quite simple to use. So that's it let me know what you think about this model if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching